Could Storm Eunice bring a rare but severe weather phenomena, the sting jet? According to forecasters, there are signs the low-pressure system may have all the ingredients, and it could mean some areas of southern Britain suffer extreme hurricane-force winds well in excess of 100 miles an hour. So what is a sting jet? Well, it gets its name from a curl of cloud that looks a bit like a scorpion's tail. It starts a couple of miles above the the ground. Cold air in the upper atmosphere gets funneled towards the centre of the storm system and because cold air is dense it begins to sink rapidly. As rain and snow falls into it and then evaporates the air gets colder causing the jet to plunge even faster. By the time it hits the ground it can generate stronger gusts than the rest of the storm but only in a small area and perhaps just 30 miles across. It doesn't last long. Typically, it's all over in just three to four hours. Sting jets were first identified by meteorologists as recently as 2004, but looking back, they now think a sting jet was at the heart of the great storm of 1987 that caused utter devastation across the south of the UK. And there have been many sting jets since. According to the Royal Meteorological Society, they were a feature of 32 of the 100 most intense storms between 1993 and 2013, causing widespread flooding and damage. They are difficult to forecast with precision, though, because they're only a small part of a much bigger storm. But even if Eunice spares us a sting jet, the rapidly deepening area of low pressure will bring damaging winds on Friday across large parts of the UK.